Radio, welcome, how to EGD learners. Um, this video, I'm going to be discussing the top tips that you need to know and to apply to nail absolutely every two-point perspective. There will never again be a two-point perspective that you cannot successfully complete after you've watched this video and applied the steps that I'm going to show you right now. Now, this is um, on request from Travis, he's one of our How to EGD All Access members and um, a few days ago he asked me to just help him out and take you guys through the steps required to absolutely nail a two-point perspective. And so this video is going to be open and free, of course, to anybody uh, following me and uh, I'd like for you to benefit from this. So let's take a look at this is a previous exam paper 2019 it was a grade 12 final exam paper and um, i'm going to use this as the basis of this lesson now to get us started off here let's have a look at what is given they've given you a, a two elevations of a house and i've specifically taken a house because i want to focus in on this roof a lot of the times learners struggle with getting this roof um, done They've given you a ground line, a standing point, uh, a HL horizon line that's at the same height as the roof in there, and a picture plane with a top view at an angle. Then the porch area of this house, of course, touches the picture plane, and that's going to um, reflect, of course, here. So I'm not going to necessarily draw the full drawing, but I'm going to show you a couple of key steps. Now, the first thing, of course, before you can even get started with any two-point perspective is going to be to determine the vanishing points and so you're going to put your 60 degree triangle because this is not the tip right because all of you know this step but it's just to get you started here we have to do this from the standing point make a mark on the picture plane and then you're going to project directly down from there to the HL now the horizontal line runs all the way through here and so this is the left vanishing point although the the placement of it is, looks a little bit um, interesting because it's in one of the views here, but that is the left vanishing point. Our right vanishing point, parallel to the one of the sides there in the top view, from the SP, again, touching the picture plane. Again, an interesting placement there. Don't let that distract you. We're going to bring that down to our horizon line, which is indicated, and label it right vanishing point. Now, that's, of course, the first step. And of course, all of you knew that already. All right. To make this a little bit more of a, of a, um, yeah, a, a good effort for you, I'm going to show you two things. All right. The first thing is here that any part of my top view that touches the picture plane, I can literally just project down onto the ground line and draw it using the original <coughs> measurement. So it's straight down here onto this the um, ground line as a start. The height I'm also going to use from the given side views. And so you can draw with confidence this start here of our porch part. Okay? And so, of course, from this one, you can see here that it is going in another direction. Now, a bonus tip here is that you can remember that any line that's going in a certain direction, so whether it's this one here, whether that one, that one, they are all aimed, if I would extend them, if I would extend them, right, even this one here, where is it aiming towards? It's aiming to the right vanishing point. All of these lines, when I did that initial determination of the right vanishing point, I placed my triangle parallel to it, and it was that from the standing point up here to determine the right vanishing point. And so remember, every line here heading in this direction aims at the left vanishing point. That means every other line aimed in the separate direction aims at the left vanishing point. Okay? So it's all of these lines. Right? Aims, if I would extend them, to the left vanishing point. Each one of them. Okay. Now, why am I saying that? Because once I've drawn the start of this porch, this point here is in fact this point. And so what is the direction now that I'm taking from this corner? It is aimed to the left vanishing point. And so I'm going to, from here at the base, I have to aim my line to the left vanishing point. 
and to the left vanishing point. And then I ask myself the question, how far before something happens again on this porch? If I look at that, it's this line that I've drawn here. Where does something happen? Right there. There's the first st stop there. It again changes its direction to the right vanishing point. So I'm going to aim that down to the standing point up to the picture plane. This isn't even the tip that I'm wanting to show you. So don't get too rushed here. You're going to have a big tip in a moment. And that's the end of that porch. This end here is in fact this end. And so I can draw this nice and dark and with confidence. Okay. This point here, I said all of these aim to the right vanishing point. So I'm going to do the same thing on the, on the bottom here. Aim it to the right vanishing point. And then I ask myself again, the question, how far before something happens? Well, if you look at the top, it goes to the right vanishing point until this point here. That's the roof overhang. Don't get confused. That's the first time there's a wall. Okay. That's for the top, but directly below it, it actually only ends there. So let me bring both of them down just to get the base of this house. And then I'm going to move on to the roof, which really is going to be uh, important for you. And the tips there is going to be very helpful in how to get that done. So just, let me just make sure I get this line perfectly right. Okay, it's a bit of a slide there. Okay, bring that down. Bring that down. So my um, my porch here in this direction, and the bottom goes quite a bit further up to that part. So that's the back bottom of the house. Here, I'm not going to draw them fully in there, but here I'm going to have a line that goes up for the wall. There's another one for the wall. The same here on this end. Oh, no, that's the end of the porch, sorry. Okay, sorry. From this corner, it's aimed to the right vanishing point till the first wall. So let's just quickly finish this just for the sake of making sure you have the base understood. Um, I think this question is as a download uh, in my drive, so I'm going to publish a link in this for you so that you can download this specific question if you want to have a look at that. All right. Um, and then this corner here is now this corner. So change of direction again, left vanishing point. And so I'm aiming to the left vanishing point. So you can do the wall, the bottom of that wall. All right, left vanishing point. That line there is in fact this line and you see it's aimed to the left vanishing point now how far does it go before something happens up to this point and travis hold on with your friends watching we're going to get to the roof now i know that's the big question that you asked and i want to make sure i answer that for you that's the front corner so now it changes to the right vanishing point but i think you'll agree with me that this is quite helpful how far before something happens up to that point so you're going to bring that down just doing the bottom here all right, that's the bottom of the corner of the wall, and from there it turns again. And there you see how that meets up. Um, so let me just quickly, that's the bottom of the wall. There's another wall here. And this one, there's the actual um, entrance there, so I'm not going to draw the details. But you've got an understanding there of the bottom of this <coughs> Porch. Okay, let me get to the roof because that's the big question. How do I get this? Like, what's the hack? How's the what's the easy way of getting this roof done? Okay, so let me just see if I can zoom out a little. No, I can't really zoom out. So I really want you to see this fully. I just position myself. Okay, here's the hack, and I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight this with highlighters. I'm gonna go all out in explaining this one. So don't um, if you're not getting it on the first take. Uh, keep with me. Alright, so what you're going to do is, let's, let's determine how do we draw the roof here. Okay, here's the hack. You take your triangle and you line it up with the center of that roof. Okay, we're just going to start with the, with the pitch of this roof. So I bring this line down to the picture plane. That's the first step. Then from there, I project it down to where it meets the height of that roof so to the picture plane then perpendicularly down and where it meets the height of this roof i make a mark all right and now i ask myself what direction was this lining that i initially told you it's going to the left vanishing point and so look here from this point that i've determined 
I'm drawing a line to the left vanishing point. This line that I've drawn here is this line that I'm redrawing here for you to see it. It's this line on the top of that ridge. It's a line running to the left vanishing point. So what I've done is I've brought it forward to the picture plane. Then I've brought it down perpendicular to the height. It's this uh, roof pitch here. Made a mark. And now, I, so this point, in fact, is possibly that point. Back to the left vanishing point. Now I've got a pencil line running on top of that ridge. And now I can go and I can bring this point down, that point down, that point and that point, And I'm going to find them on this line. So let me do that. So I bring them down just as I would. Aim it for the SP. All right. And down. And I can do this with confidence. Where it touches this line. <coughs> that is the start. It's this in here. All right. All the way to the back. I can um, Let me say it stops there. Because there's a chimney of a sort there. Bring that down. Down again. So there's a, the end. All right, I can actually go in and I draw, can draw this nice, in nice and dark if I want to. And then the back of it, um, let me just draw the end of that. We'll, the chimney is going to be a bit more detailed, but we can still draw it. All of this we can draw on, on the same basis. I just want to make the mark of the back of it. All right, we'll just keep that mark. I'm not sure if it's going to be visible. I, I'll see in a moment, but there's the start of the chimney, okay? This is this point, which is in fact... Okay, uh, uh, sorry, is that point, I took the wrong height line. Glory, this is a, a video and I took the wrong height, right? Has happened to me before, right? Some of you, I think, probably seen that. Um, rectify that quickly. All right, sorry, that height is this reach. So the height here is this one, back to the left vanishing point. All right, there we go. All right, same steps, down. And so it just did the wrong height there. But I think that actually helps you to understand. There it is. Okay, that reach there, that reach there is this point, the top of it. Let's try and get these two bottom points to help you. So we're going to do the same steps. All right. Aim it down to the picture plane, then down to the height, it's now this top, bottom corner, all right, bring that across, where does it go from here, back to the left vanishing point, wherever that left vanishing point is, there it is, in line, bring it across, and now I'm going to bring each one of these corners down, there's the first one, down, and this one here, And down. All right, and what do I do? I'm going to join these two in. There's the one. And very quickly, you see the end of this roof pitch being formed. Do you see that? All right, so this is that roof pitch here. And now from this corner, which is this one, it goes back. How far does it go back? Well, it goes all the way back to there where there's a change in direction. So we're going to aim that down. It's this corner. Okay, so there's a line. Now this corner is this corner. Now there's a change of direction. But all of this is on the horizon line. So we can just extend it till where it meets this point. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do a highlighter for you now to help you. That is the end of the roof. All right, this corner is this corner. Let's determine this point because it's a shield roof, it's further back. Can we do it with the same method? I'm sure we can. All right, so we're going to go 30 degrees, bring it down to the picture plane. From the picture plane, bring it down to where this height is. Now let me this time make sure I get it right. It's this point. Bring it across. There it is. Where do I go from this point? Back to the, remember, angle is to the right vanishing point. Okay, all right, now I have a line, this line here that I'm drawing here is in fact 
this line running all the way across. All the way across to the right vanishing point. Okay? So I'm going to have to determine these two points on that line. So I bring that down to the picture plane. Or, yeah, and to the SP. Down. And down. Alright. This corner is this one. Alright, so the first corner I can do this side. And then it goes back to this point here. Okay, let's get the end there. Uh, we've got this line, let's get that one. It's going to the back. So... It's, this is aimed to the left vanishing point. Alright, so we're going to bring that down. And down. This point is that point aimed to the left vanishing point. Same height. And that one I've brought down. This is the end here of that roof shield. Okay. See there? All the way down. And where does it go to? So very quickly we've organized our roof. Here we have to do our um, chimney. We'll do that in a moment. This is the roof overhang. We'll do the walls also and that will all be very clear soon. But there's a line coming down from here to the end there. Okay. And so we've brought both of these down. There's just a little bit of a slant there. All right. Now let's do our chimney. The bottom of the chimney, chimney, this corner, how do I get that corner? Well, you can do the same step. Aim it down to the picture plane. Then bring it down towards the height of that chimney. There it is. So it's this line here. Brought it down. Cross. Okay. Where does it go from here? It goes to the left vanishing point. Okay, where on that line, now we've drawn this line back, where on that line is the two corners? Well, there they are. So we're going to aim them down to the SP. So you can literally determine any point on this. You can determine by this method. Any point here, you can determine on this method. The one at the back, any point on a two-point perspective can be determined this way. Okay, there they are. That one is behind that corner. And then the height, we're going to do the height the same. So here it comes down. There's my height. And from here, back to the left vanishing point. And I can follow that line. There's the height of that chimney. Okay. This corner goes back to the left vanishing point. How far? Down to that corner. <coughs> Okay, it goes behind there. This corner is this corner. goes to the right vanishing point. So into the right vanishing point here. How far? Well, there it is. Okay, I think most of you have probably caught on by now. I'm going to just finish this chimney and then I'm going to just highlight again for you the steps. So there's our top of the chimney. Of course, we have a line coming down from this end to there. Let's draw that in. And then there's also a line being joined up there. All right. At the back, you remember we had a roof end that was still visible. So let's quickly see if that is visible. We did that right at the beginning. <coughs> And down. Okay, it's on this one. It's this line right there. And we have to just determine where does this corner go to there. Okay.
Okay, so there is a little bit of a roof sticking out here. Okay, that gives you the roof. We'll do the walls just in a moment, but let me highlight, as I promised, how do I determine what's the method that I taught you? So, let's take, again here, just as a revision, take that line, you're going to project it down, I'll just do a big yellow line here, all the way to the picture plane, right? Then you're going to bring it down towards the correct height line, and so don't make the mistake I did in this video, the, this pitch is this pitch here, and so in line with it, I bring a height line across, where they meet is a critical point, very important point, okay? And from that point, we're going to go back to the left vanishing point, all right? And then if I have that line back, it, that line is in fact that line. And so then all I have to do is I can plot these points down as I would for, to the SP, in the direction of SP, down to get my roof detail. There's no way that you can get this wrong. All of you will be able to do this. To just um, help you out, let's do uh, our, let's see if we can quickly, don't actually have time to finish this one, but I just want to see if we can help you out here. These are walls, let's at least finish the walls. There's another wall there, there's another wall here. This overhang here is going to be an important one. Where's the height? Where do I know where does this stop? Well, it's this point here. And so you've aimed that down. You've got that. Our, um, let's, do, let's see if we can do get that. Say, I'm convinced I can get any point to the same method. So we're going to bring that down. Bring it further down. Where's the height? There it is. Bring it across. All right. And now back to the left vanishing point. And so where it crosses, there's my wall end. All right. And my roof overhang goes this way. And of course, from here, where does it go to? It goes up to this point here. Okay, so we can aim that one. We've already brought it down. Back and down. And that completes your roof overhang. So a very clear roof overhang. We're going to have to do a window here. Um, you can do that the same method. Down. Down. There's my height. Where does it go from here? To the left vanishing point. That was the wrong way. I uh, can super, I will just do it that way. Okay, so there's really no um, measurement that you can't do with this me method. All right, there's the outside of this window. There's still going to be a bit of a uh, thickness to this wall. A two-point perspective can become quite messy quite quickly. And of course, um, the tip that I've given you here is going to be paramount for you to absolutely nail every other two-point. All right, I'm not going to finish the rest of it. You can do that on your own. Um, maybe I should try and get the... Ah, I want to help you. Let me help you. All right. Your circle here, you're going to have to divide into equal parts. All right, 12 equal parts, well, six because it's only half of it, all right? Then you're going to have to take the distances here and project that down, 
So it's this distance that's important, that distance, that one, and that one. It's, it's actually these, from here to here, from there to there, from there to there. That's the important ones that you have to determine. And it's these distance that you have to copy to your top view. So if I take my compass, you already have the center here. Just take your compass, take that distance. It's going to be the same on either side. Come back here. Make a mark there. Oops, sorry for that. Make a mark this side. Next one. That distance. Come back here. Make a mark. Make a mark. So the six points here that's important for you is this one. All right, the outer corners, it's this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. All right, those six is also... This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one. All right. So what you're going to have to do is we're going to have to bring them down, each one of them to the SP. So maybe I can quickly do that for you, with you. Come down to the SP, each one of them. Just on the front there. <clears throat> Lots of lines, so please don't get too confused here. And we're going to bring those six down. So straight down, that's the first one. Right, the second one is this one. Okay. Let me zoom in here for you. All right, now the heights from that, um, we can do the same thing here. We're going to project, bring this to the front, and down. We do the, I'll do it in green for you. So it's this line here, so I project it down. The heights, I can bring the heights across. Um, my paper moved a little bit. Okay, there's the top. I'm just taking this measurement, bringing it here in the bottom. And so I'm going to bring each one across to where it measures and it's going to go back to the right vanishing point so now it's where it crosses there's going to be the top second one you see there the arc being shaped there next one same steps that's why I say this is a massive tip for any learner struggling with two-point perspective. If you can organize this method, there's no reason for you not to be able to do that. And so once you have that, you're going to take your French curve and you're going to find a nice curve there that works. some thickness to that so I'm going to go back to the left finishing point just bring this one down and uh, all right so there is a big part of this drawing done there's still a doorway in there but you can use exactly the same method so um, please remember this method, uh, project it down to the picture plane, perpendicular down to the same height where it meets back to the left vanishing point or if it was on the other side back to the right vanishing point 
And then you're going to just project down the different points to get the points. There's no way that you can't get this done. I'm confident that you can. So please do your best. Thank you for watching. Now it's your turn.